want to die, death is a constant reminder here. We're people we kill, we in that. You ain't supposed to be alive. Killing, shooting people, doing whatever I had to do. We have to make a living. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I know how to grind. I started from the bottom. Never ride on your friends. Race to rackets. It's rough on a black man. Hold up, we're going to blow this whole... In the beginning of 1989, different crews at JBM started to branch off to do their own thing. The only bad thing about that was, players was fighting over territory. If you want to do your own thing, go somewhere else. That was the words of A-Train Reagan. When couples split from a marriage, they discuss who gets what. And when they can't come to an agreement, it gets ugly. That causes a lot of bad blood. There's a playground on the corner of 51st and Hoops in West Philly. The exact address is 51st and August Street. That territory would change lives. Kids could even pick up a shift after school to make some extra cash. Some kids would get paid for being lookouts, hanging around the parks for hours. It has a park, so no violence, no heat from the cops at all. Many street dealers started off pumping under someone, but eventually you grow and you want to become your own boss. If you wanted that corner, you're going to have to go to war. The battle for the playground will start with taking out the leader. Street Captain Albert A. Train Reagan will be shot and killed March 26 on the 700 block of North 46th Street. A contract was placed on his head by a member that wanted to branch off. The contract would pass around because most of them didn't want it. A Train was something serious to play with. Some were too fly and just wanted to run through women and get money. The alleged shooter was 19-year-old Chester Kelly. Some guys would switch knowing it would be retaliation. War was in the air, and you really had to pick a side. If you're seen with the ops, you're getting a piece of the action. You're going to war with people you used to roll with. So, to win the war, it will be all about discipline. You can't go to the same clubs or bars to have a drink. One slip up, you're out of here. OD told me during the war he wasn't even driving the same car as his kids. You have to pit fun to the side until the war is over. The headhunters would be riding around all day patrolling blocks. On April 1st, 1989, Chester Kelly would be shot to death on the 5300 block of Diamond Street. Eyes and ears were open all over Philly. The Reagan faction would show the 19-year-old boy that it's a man's game. Dennis Caldwell would be gunned down on the same day. He would be killed on George Lane's in Diamond Street. Two bodies in one day, making their deceased captain proud. It was April and the city's body count was already sitting in the 120s. Two weeks later, 23-year-old Brooke White would be killed at a stoplight on 50th and Brown Street. Before the light turned green, a car pulled up firing a large caliber handgun. With multiple shots fired into his all-white Nissan, White was taken to the University of Pennsylvania Medical Center, where he died at 7.15 p.m. It was another get-back killing for the Reagan hit. Victor Reagan, which is Albert's brother, turned himself in on April 17th. A new block captain was in control of the Reagan faction, telling his soldiers no dice games, no drugs, alcohol, scheduled check-ins. The Philly streets were super hot, blazing. At the end of the day, it was all about that green piece of paper and of course, there was more murders off record. So we're going to keep these stories coming. And I like covering them. So don't forget to like the video and comment where you're from. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. And if you're new, subscribe and become a member. Thanks for watching. I'm out.